não serei interrompida, não aturo o interrompimento dos vereadores desta casa, não aturarei de um cidadão que vem aqui e não sabe ouvir a posição de uma mulher eleita. de não serem interrompida, vocês não vão interromper uma mulher eleita, era nesse sentido, porque ela era muito interrompida ali dentro daquele parlatório. E você lida com isso? A gente foi seguida várias vezes, mas ninguém está preocupado com isso. Então é uma vulnerabilidade que a gente, a gente passa, que a gente está vivendo, que não querem saber. A trajetória das mulheres negras e da população negra, em geral, eu costumo dizer, é uma existência em tragédia. Mas é ressignificada todo dia. Eu não tinha percebido qualquer aproximação, qualquer, até porque eu estava ali, de fato, muito absorta pelo, pelo, pelas fotos e... E aí metralharam o carro, assim, foi uma única rajada. De certa forma, o que a Marielle representava no próprio corpo e na história de vida dela era uma modificação na política que a sociedade estava dizendo que tinha urgência que acontecesse. Marielle lives on, and she remains a beacon of hope to people throughout the world who, who deeply believe, as she did, in the imminent possibility of radical transformation in Brazil, in the Americas, and all over the planet. She did not believe that racism was destined to be a permanent feature of human society, even with a legacy of 500 years, it can be abolished. You should know that for political reasons, I'm always um, critical of the identity American as referring to those of us who happen to live in what since the late 1700s has been referred to as the United States of America, as if we were the only ones in the entire hemisphere who deserve, who deserve to be the particular country that can represent all of the people in the region. Uh, it is the same colonizing logic that permits the category human to be represented by humans who are white, humans whose history is that of slaveholding and colonizing. This logic, of course, leads to an internal hierarchy within the very category human. In the same colonizing way, people from the US like to stand in for all of the people in the Americas. So I've made this point in order to suggest that I would be proud to call myself an American if that designation implied egalitarian relations among all of the people of this hemisphere. And then Marielle Franco would be my American sister comrade. <laughs> Marielle's feminist approach helped her to develop strategic critiques of police violence. And when I say feminist approach, I refer not only to her emphasis on gender, including non-binary expressions of gender and sexuality, also including LGBT issues, I am referring to her, 
her method of articulation, of feminist articulation, um, um, and the way in which she articulated race and gender um, in, in, in a politics of articulation which made it absolutely clear how the defense of black women is linked to the struggle against police violence. Women, of course, are also the direct targets of that violence. But they disproportionately suffer the collateral consequences of that violence. When she said that her work emphasized race, gender, and city, she was articulating the conditions of poverty, marginalization, violence, and repression with the structural and institutional impact of race and gender. She understood the connections between gang violence and police violence. And she spoke out against the military police, against the militarization of the police. The black feminism represented by Marielle Franco is a feminism dedicated to understanding and transforming the world. Not only, or not, not so much in order to guarantee that it responds to the needs of one particular group, but rather for all of us women, men, trans, and non-binary non people, including black, indigenous, Latinx, Asian, Muslim, Christian, Jewish, Buddhist, disabled, and also including the animals of this planet, um, so many of which are subject to unspeakable violence. I wanted to talk about imagining a world that uh, urges its inhabitants to imagine themselves as members of collectives and communities. Uh, I am because we are. Uh, Marielle's emphasis on the communitarian. Uh, 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 as members of collectives and communities as opposed to individualistic, profit-driven beings whose primary relation to others is defined by competition. The discourse of abolition, or an abolition feminism, allows us to imagine new worlds and new possibilities of justice, equality, and freedom. And I think this is what Marielle Franco was insisting on. Asi onanga, asi onangumande. Asi.